And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Watch for the areas of dense fog tonight, and there could be a sprinkle or a small isolated shower or some of these clouds around overnight and early tomorrow morning as well. And then we'll have one little wave of at least a few to some showers, kind of very late morning, midday, part of the afternoon tomorrow. And then a band of rainfall from this system tomorrow night and a few lingering showers Tuesday morning. Then after that, this kind of upper level system We'll bring some rainfall Wednesday, followed by much colder weather and some scattered snow showers later on in the week. And then the remnants of Sarah down here will get picked up and pulled northward. And we'll see kind of those remnants form or, or those warm uh, remnants be absorbed by both this, uh, of these systems. And basically it's going to bring us a lot of wind, much colder weather, the scattered snow showers and a monster storm for the northeast. So breaking that down further, 45 sprinkled tonight, areas of dense fog. Watch for that being out and about for the commute early tomorrow morning. The fog burns off and then we have a few to at least some scattered showers. Again, I would expect a couple late morning and then pretty much midday to part of the afternoon. We'll have a few of these pass through winds out of the southeast, but a warmer high is 63 as a warm front drifts northward 59 to 65 should do it for highs area wide. So pretty mild come tomorrow and then we we'll get that warm front north of our area tomorrow night. So the rain shuts off for the uh, for a while. Then a band of rain and gusty thunder comes through overnight tomorrow night. We'll have a few lingering showers in the morning. Then the sun comes out. The wind is strong from the southwest and we hit a high of 68 on Tuesday. But then behind the front, the wind goes to the west and temperatures fall. We go from 66 at 3 to 60 at 5 and some low clouds start to come in later in the afternoon and evening. But look at that. You know, for some of you, Lafayette, Vetersburg, Crawfordsville, Frankfort, Florida, I think this will probably be your warmest day until maybe earlier mid-March of 2025. So soak this up. We got one warm but windy day on Tuesday. So again, a, a sprinkle isolated shower tonight, early tomorrow morning, later tomorrow morning, and then into the afternoon. There's that wave of at least a few to some showers that zips through the area. That's the warm front. Then we are dry, windy and warmer tomorrow night. And then this band of rain and some gusty thunder comes in overnight tomorrow night. You can see it right here. There's 230 in the morning. Then a few showers early on Tuesday morning, followed by the sunshine and the warmth, and then the low clouds and the much colder air coming in before another round of some rainfall comes in on Wednesday, and it will turn sharply colder in the afternoon. And we're expecting generally about a half to one inch of rain from whatever comes tonight, tomorrow, right through Wednesday. So there's that rain on Wednesday pushing out by early afternoon and then look at that. Here comes the colder air. So some scattered snow showers Wednesday night into Thursday. How about that? And some more scattered snow showers Thursday night through part of Friday. A few places may briefly get the grass or some elevated surfaces whitened a little bit. And then we watch a few showers on Sunday with a little sleet before rainy weather comes in just in time for Thanksgiving ending as snow showers on Black Friday. So man, is this a active weather pattern? It's just one system after the other. 47 Wednesday, some of the rain, and then off again, on again, scattered snow showers, highs in the 30s, some rain showers and sleet Sunday, and then active again next week with rainfall towards Thanksgiving.